there's been a lot of new generation consoles that have come out on the market. You've got the Xbox Series S and X, which is a fantastic console. And you got the PlayStation 5, which is an absolute beast, which has been sucking up a lot of my time. But you know what my favorite console is that no one's really talking about? It's the Amazon Luna. And in this video here, I'm going to go over everything good and bad about this. And if it's worth your money to dive into cloud gaming. We're gonna get started right after this. What's better than being a punk? How about being a cyberpunk? With Cyberpunk 2077 coming out, hey, it's time to make your stream look super slick and eye-catching. And nothing catches my eye more than the brand new overlay package from Owned, the Punked series to give you that bold, beautiful look to grab attention on your stream. Comes with beautiful graphics and transitions that are just gonna bring your stream to the next level. Don't be a punked or get punked and save some extra cash by using my coupon codes and links down in the video description below. And now, back to the video. Welcome back all you awesome people. Wild for Games here, making sure you become bigger and better with your streaming and online content creation. If this is your first time here, make sure you do me a favor and smash that big red subscribe button down below so that way I can help you grow. Many of you watching this are probably wondering, what the heck is Amazon Luna? Valid question because the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X has kind of taken the forefront of your attention when it comes to new generation consoles. But Amazon Luna is Amazon's cloud gaming service where it's easy to play games on any device that you already own. No need to wait for downloads or updates. Literally, just turn Amazon Luna on, connect the controller, and you're up and playing within literally seconds. When it comes to cloud gaming, I don't really know much about it, which is nice for this review because I'm coming in with fresh eyes and a fresh perspective, which will be valuable to you because I'm going to give you what's good about it, what's bad about it, and my final thoughts and let you know if it's worth your time and money. So let's dive right into it. What's good about Amazon Luna? The first thing that we have to mention is the price. Amazon Luna offers you a budget-friendly way to do cloud gaming. For a subscription of $5 a month, you get a vast library of games, even in this beta version. More on that in a moment. The controller costs you 50 USD, 60 if you want to get the phone clip-on attachment, which I actually do recommend because I find fun with it. And that's all you really need if you want to get up and running. However, if you have a smart TV that has Amazon apps, that's an additional win in your side because you can then cast it to the TV. If not, you would need to invest in an Amazon Fire Stick, which will allow you to cast, which is another 40 USD. But all in all, under hundred bucks to get a new generation cloud computing system, that's pretty impressive. When it comes to the library of games you can play on Amazon Luna, you get about a selection of around 40 games. Now, that may sound small, but you need to remember, this is still in beta. Good news is, is all the games are really, really good. You will recognize a good handful of them. And there's a good diversification of games in there, so that way everybody from kids to teens to adults will find something that they like. Another plus note worth mentioning is Amazon Luna has been adding games since the launch. It seems like they add one to two games every couple of weeks. In my opinion, the Amazon Luna is probably the easiest console to travel with. Let's say you wanna to go to a friend's house. All you really need to do is take a controller cause you can plug in, log into your Amazon account on a browser and start playing games. Or you can go over to a friend's house, bring your controllers and your fire stick and play couch games on their TV. I love this because it brings back the old days of co-op couch gaming. But you do need to remember if you plan on doing co-op games, you will need two controllers. Since we're talking about couch potato time, the Amazon Luna is a great multitasking tool. If you got friends, family, kids, young ones, or maybe you just have different interests than your loved one out there, the cool thing about the Amazon Luna is it can multitask where one person can play games on their mobile device through Luna and another can stream movies and watch TV through their Amazon device at the same time, which is extremely impressive. And to be fair, one of my guilty pleasures was throwing something on in the background with the TV and then playing games on my Amazon Luna on my mobile device at the same time. Pretty impressive. Well, what about performance when it comes to the Amazon Luna? You know, to be 100% completely fair, actually worked extremely well. It works better if you have a five gigahertz modem. You can use 2.4 if you want to, but you're gonna know sometimes more slow down issues, which is something a lot of people probably overlook. So it is recommended to have a better and newer Wi-Fi connection inside your house. 
When playing with the Amazon Luna on my TV through my Fire Stick and through my phone, you know, I really had close to no issues. Most of the issues I did encounter would be on my phone, but I don't know if that was just because of Wi-Fi congestion or it was actually because of the game of how it had to populate on my phone through the cloud computing. Really hard for me to benchmark it, but to let you know, 90 to 95% of the time, I could play pretty much every game out there with no issue, which was extremely impressive. I almost had no issues anytime I streamed it through my Fire Stick. When it came to the performance of the controller and the input and latency, it's a little hard to tell, to be honest. Again, it goes back to that Wi-Fi thing. There would be times where it would work flawless and I could have pinpoint actions. And there'd be times where I did experience latency. However, the latency is minimal. And if there is latency throughout the entire play process, it's very hard to establish or even benchmark. Amazon Luna even says itself that the latency is 17 to 30 milliseconds, which is virtually nothing, which is pretty impressive for how you can set this up and play games within your browser or through your Fire Stick. But there were times when I did play on my phone that sometimes I would hit a button and nothing would happen, or you could feel there was a slow jump action or movement action, which really did suck. But again, it was hard to benchmark this versus the game or my internet to it. But overall, I was extremely impressed by the controller input and the lack of latency there was because I could play pretty much every game with no problems and everything felt fluid and pinpoint for all the actions that I needed. I would love to test the game on something that was super fast and high pace, but even when I played things like Sonic the Hedgehog for jumping and platforming, it worked extremely well. So what's bad about the Amazon Luna? Well, the first thing is I do notice performance issues a little bit when it comes to using your mobile device. Now, I only noticed this when a lot of things were happening on the screen. It takes me back to my old Super Nintendo and Nintendo days of how it couldn't keep up with everything on screen. Very minimal for a lot of the games I was playing, but I did notice it at times on my mobile device, but it doesn't hinder the gaming process. It just slowed down a few times and then it picked back up and I was able to play the game. My biggest complaint about the Amazon Luna is the controller. In no way is it a bad controller. In fact, it's actually a pretty decent controller, but that's it. It's just decent. The buttons are okay. They're smooth, but they feel old school or a generation behind. The joysticks are okay, fluid and responsive. The D-pad is kind of trash a little bit. It works perfectly fine, but with all the new generation consoles coming out and things that you're used to, like an Xbox controller or PlayStation controller, this feels like it's behind the times, as well as the controllers and shoulder bumps feel old school, which is a huge shame. Most controllers come in around $60 to $70, and I would actually pay up for that for a better controller. So hopefully down the road, Amazon Luna comes out with a 2.0 version of the controller. Another thing I don't like about the Amazon Luna controller, but this is more of an opinion, is it's a smaller controller overall. Millimeters on some parts and bigger differences on other parts. The biggest difference is, is it tapers down at the bottom of the handle. I'm a medium built man with medium built hands and my bottom fingers don't fit on the controller. They kind of just dangle off, which means it's very uncomfortable for long gaming sessions. My hands actually feel a little cramped after a few game sessions. The thumbstick and the buttons also feel closer together, which again, doesn't feel comfortable for me. It works perfectly fine, but you may notice some problems if you have bigger hands out there, but this may be a plus for you if you have smaller hands. In a generation that's all about sharing your content on social media platforms like Twitter and Instagram and YouTube, the Amazon Luna also fails at not having a function that allows you to share clips or video or even pictures from the games that you're playing. I feel like this is a huge negative when most controllers in the top left now have a share button. Amazon Luna controller doesn't have that and there's no way to do that. I find that to be a huge negative and hopefully they correct this in the future. Perhaps the most confusing thing I had to figure out with the Amazon Luna was how to figure out how to play games on my mobile device with the Amazon Luna. Requires you to download another app, which is kind of a shame. I feel like things should be consolidated into one app in this day and age. But once you download it, it's very easy to set up, but it took me a while to figure out how to do this. Another big letdown of Amazon Luna is within the game selections you have there, it's all based on local co-op. So I never really got a chance to jump in and play multiplayer games. And to be honest, I don't even know if that's actually a thing. Now you can join the Ubisoft subscription service, which I believe comes in at $15 a month. But a lot of the games there didn't excite me. 
but I'm very, very curious how multiplayer games would work because I would love to jump into something like a battle royale or a team deathmatch or anything like that and see how well this holds up. And if it does hold up well, I would love something like that and I would pay up for it, but I'm having too much fun with the basic $5 subscription service at the moment. But I kind of hope in the future, some of the games that are coming to the basic subscription side will allow us to play online multiplayer games with our friends, which would be really, really fun. <laughs> oh, man. That was a lot of information and all of it was valuable information. You know, I've got my PlayStation 5, my Xbox Series X, and I love those consoles, but you know what? I have probably sunk more of my time into this than I have any of those systems. I can't get enough of this Amazon Luna. And I'm being 100% honest, I really do love this thing because I miss the days of going back and playing couch games. When I'm done with my work day, I have this thing sitting on my coffee table. I pick it up and I play for 45 minutes at a time. And I just leave the safe state and back out of the game and I can jump back in it at another point in time. It is so much fun going back to couch gaming and slouching and relaxing and having a drink and playing it. I miss that so much. And with Amazon Luna, I really get to relive that time. Now, hopefully Amazon will support Luna and keep adding games. In my opinion, it's gonna need at least four to six games every month. Some can be IP, some can be triple A's and in between, I'd be extremely happy with that. I would also like to see something beyond just local co-op. Local co-op really does excite me to play with friends, but hey, sometimes I don't have friends near me, so I love to play with my online friends. Would love to see this feature come in at some point. But like I said, maybe it's there on the Ubisoft side, but I'd love to see it on the basic side as well. All right, the huge big daddy question, is the Amazon Luna worth your money? For around $55, that's the controller and the $5 subscription, to around $100, with everything, if you need to get a fire stick and the controller and the service and whatever else you want on that. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, I think this thing is worth it. I love this thing. I've played with it every day since I've owned it. I can't recommend it enough. The quality, the service, the gameplay, the selection, all is superb. There are some minor issues, but they're minor overall and it doesn't hinder my gameplay process or my enjoyment factor. And there's other things on the horizon. If you follow Amazon Luna on Twitter, there's new games coming. Also, you got 4K down the road, super impressive, and I can't wait for that. This thing is worth your money. Now there's a big, big problem for some people out there. It's invite only. And I did you a favor, I put a link down in the video description below that allows you to submit yourself to get an invite email from Amazon and those are sent out in waves. So I wish you luck if you get one. And if you do get one, you can do me a favor by purchasing the Amazon Luna controller using my affiliate links down below. Really helps my channel out, costs you nothing, but it supports me, so thank you very much. Now Amazon Luna also has a little side kicker where it has Twitch integration. Now I didn't get a chance to dive into that because it's a small facet, but if you're into streaming and Twitch, hey, it might be something that's interesting for you. And if you want a video on that, hey, guess what? I'm already in the works on it. Do me a favor and hit that big red subscribe button down below so that way you know when it launches. If you need any more help with tech reviews or anything with gaming that's gonna help you be a bigger and better online content creator or streamer, gonna do you a favor and throw a couple of videos over here to the side. I recommend checking them out. Until next time, my name is Wild for Games. Hoping you stay safe, have fun, and I hope you get an Amazon Luna invite. Take care, and of course, peace.